Tinkering is a crafting profession in Orbis VR in which you use blueprints and resources to build tools, furniture, and other items. Items can be built using the Tinkering Crafting Station in the basement of your player house. Next to the station is a tutorial sign that will walk you through the basics of the profession and give you some valuable tools to get started. To build items, you will need both blueprints and resources. You'll receive a blueprint for the basic Orbis picture through the Tinkering tutorial process. All other blueprints will need to be found throughout the overworld were acquired in various ways from NPCs. Blueprints need to be found once only. Once you have the blueprint, you can make the item as many times as you have enough resources to build it. Blueprints are soulbound, however, and cannot be traded with other players. We recommend storing all found blueprints within your tinkering chest for safekeeping and deleting any duplicates you may receive. If you hover your tooltip over the blueprint in your player inventory, you can see the list of resources needed to build the item. Currently, there are seven resources being introduced to build tinkerer items. Ground Essence is the most commonly needed resource and can be purchased from the NPC in the new tinkering shop in the underground market of High Step. Wood scraps are another common resource and can be collected from killing mobs in the overworld. Cloth scraps can be picked up finding dungeon trash, while woodcogs, a rare resource, can only be obtained from killing dungeon bosses. Metal springs and metal cogs are both rare items. Metal springs can only be found in public event rewards chest, while metal cogs can only be acquired through crafting using the alchemy table in your player house. You can find the recipe for metal cogs from the tinkering tutorial sign in your player house basement. Finally, polished shard glass is considered an epic resource and can only be acquired as a rare drop from killing monsters in the overworld. Once you have a blueprint and all necessary resources, return to your player house. To begin, open the chest next to the tinkering table and deposit all blueprints and resources. On the right hand side of the table is the blueprints list. If a tile is outlined in red, you are missing either the blueprint or the resources needed to build this item. If the tile has no outline, you have everything you need and are ready to build. Click a tile to select it, then hit build item. Once confirmed, you will see a hologram outline of the item appear over the table for just a moment, then break apart into its component pieces, which will drop onto the table. At this point, you could begin putting the pieces into place. Press and hold the grip button to grab an individual piece. If you release the grip button, the piece will float in mid-air where you left it, allowing you to reposition your grip and rotate the piece to get it to fit correctly. You can also rotate the hologram left or right using the arrows at the edge of the table, allowing you to reposition the outline and access hard to reach spots. You will know the piece has been placed correctly as it will lock into position and you won't be able to grab it anymore. Some pieces require more precise placement and will take a bit of, well, tinkering in order to get it in the exact right spot. Once you have all the pieces in the correct position, the completed item will play an animation, disappear, then be added to your player inventory. At this point, your inventory will also be charged the resources needed to build the item. Unlike with the alchemy table, where you lose an ingredient as soon as you add it to the cauldron, regardless of if you finish the potion, you are not charged for a resource until the item is complete. If you cancel a build before finishing an item, you will not be debited the resources needed to build the puzzle, meaning there is no risk in trying a puzzle to see if it's too hard or running out of time before finishing. There are currently more than 15 items you can build in the tinkering profession. Items fall into two categories, tinkerer tools and tinkerer furniture. Tinkerer tools include items you can take into the overworld with you, such as a hand lantern, pickaxe, mounts, and even a transmog chess piece. The Raven's View camera is a new tool being introduced with the tinkering class. When deployed into the air, this camera switches your desktop view to the camera's perspective, allowing you to record footage from a third person perspective. PC VR only. The camera is available in Quest but will not change your perspective. You can also make items to adorn your player house, such as chairs, tables, wall art, clocks, and more. Most items you make can be traded with other players or sold on the auction house, although some items, such as the orb mount and the expedition chest transmog, are soulbound and cannot be traded or sold. If you want to see any of the items in their completed stage before beginning a build, Visit the Tinkerer Shop to view the finished tools, or the showroom in the new furniture store, accessible through the door at the back of the Tinkerer Shop, to see what each furniture item will look like when completed. We hope you enjoy the tinkering profession. As always, we'll see you in game.